got any questions? Baby wipes are very handy <laughs> at all times. No questions? <laughs> We're all mesmerised. Wet on wet? Have you ever painted in any other media? Yes, I've tried a lot of different mediums. I mean, when I, I, I came back to live with my mum and dad after a, you know, disaster. <laughs> My mother said, get out and do some evening classes, you're not sitting in here right? And so I went to evening classes at Thomas S. Lee and brought Natalie the college. And I tried lots of different things. The teacher just let you do what you wanted to do. So I started with oils. I bought a little kit of oils. Didn't like that. Boring. You used to take the same thing home every week. You know, you do a little bit at this corner. And then next week it's still wet, so you have to do that corner. Boring. Then I went onto acrylics and had my stay wet palette. Have you got a stay wet palette? <laughs> stay wet palette you had to have when you've got acrylics. Didn't get on with them. And uh, so then I went to watercolours and really I was set, you know, that was what I painted in watercolours because I used to just, an hour was enough for me. I wanted to do a painting, I wanted to get something done in an hour. And with watercolours you can do that. So I used to go for evening classes with my watercolours and I used to go on painting holidays and just to try to get better at it, but I didn't seem to get better at it. I was just sort of, you know, you just stick to it and you do it and that's it. But I wasn't improving at all, but, you know, I, I, I was okay, but I, I'd never have thought of teaching anybody or anything like that. Um, and then I went on a class um, that was advertised at Hobby Crafts at Tamworth, um, as Wet on Wet, and thought, well, you know, I might come home with some decent paper. Because when you paint watercolours, you do become a bit obsessed with the quality of paint. <laughs> because you think, oh, it might be rough, or it might be smooth, it might be a torn edge, or it might be a cut edge. All those things. And you know when you have really posh paper and have that embossed bit in the corner? Arches have that A. We used to love that. <laughs> sad, isn't it? Very sad. So, um... I thought if I don't learn anything, I might come home with some decent paper, that was the plan. And then when I got there, it wasn't wet on wet watercolours, it was wet on wet oils. And I said, I don't like oils. And this woman said, you've already paid. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I said, what? really, I don't like oils. And then this, this man came and sat next to me and he said to me, let me show you my pictures. I said, oh, I'll do this. <laughs> so he gets his little flippy photograph album thing out and show me these pictures he'd done. He says, this is, this is the sort of thing. I thought, oh, this is amazing. And um, so I did stay and, um, and I couldn't believe what I did in that day. I couldn't believe, and I've never, ever painted with a two inch brush. Again, when you paint watercolours, you think you have to have a smaller brush. One with eight hairs isn't small enough. <laughs> you know, you think you've seen somebody demonstrating with a six one, six hairs, you have to have that brush. <laughs> because he's done all these fantastic things with it, you need to be able to do those things. <coughs> so it must be the brush. <laughs> and you just, so you buy the brush and it still doesn't do it. <laughs> so it, it's, you know, that's how it works. Well, that's how it worked with me. And, um, and so when she, when I stood there, I said, you're not going to paint with this. And I've never used a palette knife. So that was when I was introduced to the box. <coughs> and this lady had come from Peterborough and uh, to Tamworth, which is an awful long way, to teach this class on a Sunday. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I came home with this picture. I was just amazed. I did mountains and snow mountains and that. It was just brilliant. So I went and bought everything in the shop that got Bob's name on it. <laughs> and, uh, and that was it really, that's how it all happened. And, and, and I thought, this is just incredible. And I then wanted to know how she'd got to be so good at what she was doing. And then she told me she'd been on these training courses, she'd been to Holland to train to become a Bob Ross instructor. And, um, and, and, she'd be, and I said, oh, that's amazing. I need to do this. And I thought, if she's come from Peterborough to Tamworth, there must be some money in it, I thought. <laughs> she must be learning something to come all that way. And I needed my way out of the civil service. And so I thought, at least if I do some, if I did it, I'd perhaps be able to work one day at a weekend or something. And have a day off. <laughs> 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 